What's up? What's up, Sign YouTube? How are you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Angie. This reading is for the week, April 5th, Monday through Friday, um, April 9th, 2021. We are going to see um, what we need to know, what's going on, all that good stuff. I hope you had a beautiful Easter. So happy belated Easter to all of you beautiful people. I hope that it was a very good weekend, a very good holiday for you that you were able to spend some time with family or call your family and at least talk to them and, um, you know, have a good meal. So, you know, it was, it was nice to actually spend some time with some of my Sedona family. So it was a beautiful day today. And uh, let's get to this reading. Let's see what's happening this week. And uh, let's see what's going on. What do we need to know this week? Those that are watching this video. Okay, this one was going to jump out. This one. What else do we need to know? Okay, thank you. Give me one more. What else? What else? Okay. This one here. Okay. All right, so this is beautiful. Okay. I, and then of course this is some of the same cards, um, as the other reading that I just did. So first card, reevaluate your priorities. <laughs> you know, this is the thing. Okay. I, I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story. Okay. And I won't keep it long. I swear. So, um, this week, or I should say this weekend, I don't remember what day it was, but I realized that I was falling back into old patterns and old routines and was very unconsciously sort of um, waking up and, and doing like a routine and not really thinking or taking into consideration about how I felt. I was just doing things that I thought that I should do, okay? So that is a word, should, okay? I should be, all right? That needs to sort of really get out of our... Um, out of our vocabulary, we need to watch the shoulds or need, need tos, okay? So this is really saying, you know what, we really need to go within and we sort of need to restructure or reorganize our priorities, our day, make a list, you know, and but also it's it's doing things in a different way. And it is so difficult and challenging when we have done something for so long, for so many years, and we really don't know a different way, you know? I've had a job since I was 13. And at that time, I wasn't even getting paid. I was teaching kids how to swim for two or three years until I was 15 or 16, and then I was able to actually be a lifeguard, and then I actually got paid. So, you know, so this is the thing. It's like, you know, this is saying, hey, um, let's maybe take a step back. Let's sort of reevaluate how we've been living. Have we been doing things in a conscious manner? Have we been doing things in an unconscious manner of routine, get up, you know, get coffee, do this, do that, do yoga, you know, like what, like what, what is your, um, behaviors? I would like to use that word. And so this is, you know, what, what have you been noticing or, or not noticing is what I, what I really want to say. Because it, it was like, I, I finally had the nudge of like, okay, I probably worked like three or four weeks in a row, you know, every day without really giving myself, well, I did give myself a full day off the other day, but it was like, I was to that point where like I needed it, you know? And even then I still was sort of unconsciously, you know, I, I was in my brain about sort of what I should be doing or what I needed to be doing. You know what I mean? So it's, it's re-evaluating our priorities and, and sort of saying, okay, what's at the top of my list? Am I doing things in a good order? Am I setting myself up for success or am I stressing myself out more? Okay. So I'm going to kind of move on from that, but it is, you know, priorities, make a list, you know, really sort of sit with yourself and see where you're at. Are you consciously and mindfully making decisions and choices or are you sort of like the, the zombie of just like doing things to do them, to get them done type of thing. Okay. Now the next card we have is accept what is dying. Okay, so this could be old ways of being, old patterns. That doesn't this doesn't necessarily mean, 
you know, you know, a relationship or a friendship. It could, this is a general reading. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay. But we need to look at, we need to look at all of the different aspects in our lives. And I really feel with this reevaluating your priorities or almost like reevaluating, reevaluating your values too. You know, what do you value? What are you, um, you know, what are you trying to, you know, what are you working on in your life? What are you trying to create, you know? And so it's like, what, what is meaningful to you? What is a priority? And so maybe your priorities have changed. Maybe you want your priorities and your values to change and you're, and you're, you know, you're, you're shifting and you're moving and we're always changing. Change is, is the only constant. And so this is really saying that, you know, there's, there's always new beginnings and endings. You know, life is always a cycle. There's always cycles that are, that are, you know, beginning and ending and beginning and ending. And so maybe there's something that is sort of lingering around this week or that comes to our realization that there's something that is ready to leave. You know, maybe we need to say, okay, you know what, um, this is really coming to an end or I'm really feeling that I need to shift here or I really need to start changing my ways, you know? And so this is saying, hey, whatever is sort of on its way out, um, you know, we need to accept these things. And I really do feel that we sort of are clearly going to know for some of us what this is because it is upright. Okay. So maybe this is just a confirmation to somebody who needs to hear this this week that, you know, if there's something that you know is leaving or is, or is on the way out or is done, this is saying, you know what, that we need to accept this change and to, allow the changes that need to be made or allow ourselves to, to start that process possibly. Okay. Now, Ooh, we have be open to love, but this is in reverse. Be open to love in reverse. Okay. So what this says to me is, you know what, maybe we still have our guard up in some way, shape or form. Maybe we need to allow ourselves to, um, open our minds or our hearts to new friendships, new relationships, um, new ideas. Maybe this is, you know, being kinder, being more open to um, understanding that we are worth it and that we are enough. And it always stems back to self-love, right? So, um, you know, this is really saying like, hey, you know what, maybe, you know, we really need to sort of like open up our eyes and our hearts and our minds. And, you know, maybe because this is um, in reverse, like the, the reevaluate your priorities is saying, you know what, maybe we're not living a heart centered life. You know, what do I mean by that? I mean that like literally asking yourself, what do you want to do? How does it feel? Does this feel good? Does this job feel good? Does, does this relationship feel good? What is my body saying? Does my body want to eat that sandwich? Does it really want a salad? Do, like, do I, do I feel like I just need a break and to go outside right now? You know, like, do I need to go for a drive? Do you know, do, do I need a coffee? Do I need a nap? You know what I mean? So it's like, um, you know, be, be open to, um, sorry, I kind of went off on a tangent there, but be open to love, be open to new things, new ways, new ideas, new ways of being new patterns, new creations. But also it's almost as if like, um, what's coming to my mind is if you sort of get the nudge or the urge to sort of go somewhere new or different this week, I'm sort of really being impressed to say, um, you know, like go to a new coffee shop and get your coffee and, and sit there versus somewhere where you always go. It's almost like breaking the routine and allowing yourself to really sort of be open to new ideas, new things, new ways of being new people. You know, sometimes we're like, oh, you know, we're closed off and our friends are our friends, you know, for a reason, because we've known them forever and they understand us. But it's like, you know, like, let's, let's be open. Maybe this is saying, hey, you know, um, you want that new relationship. You want to find someone, but maybe, maybe you need to work a little bit more on your self-love before you need to be open to healing and fixing yourself before you can claim and attract that relationship into your life. Or this relationship is on its way and be open because right now, you know, it's, it's there, there might be, um, Maybe there's an opportunity coming that 
is saying, hey, um, let's be open and let's not ha um, have judgment towards whatever could possibly happen this week, you know? Be open to new ideas, new situations, new relationships, new friends, new family, new, um, you know, new soul family, um, new love. Okay. Now we have count your blessings. Okay. So this is just being grateful. Okay. Count your blessings because you know what? It's, we have to be grateful for what we have and where we've been in order to be grateful for what we have coming. You know, that we don't know is coming. And so it's this is to stay in our hearts and to stay grateful and to say our prayers and to, you know, just say thank you. You know, being 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 in our heart and really coming from a place of gratitude. Okay. So now the last information that I have here for this week. Oh, this is interesting because I didn't even look at this. Um, so as I was saying, like going to a different coffee shop or doing something different, we have do something different. Literally over here. I'm not even paying attention to these. So uh, so we have doing something different. Yeah, like we're we're stuck in the same routine. You know, we're we're doing the same thing. And it's like, you know, the same thing is creating the same result. So if we do something different and we accept that change is coming and we accept that the way that we've been doing things is really not serving us any longer anymore, it served its purpose for a reason. But now it's like, okay, you know what? Let's be open. Let's open our minds, let's open our hearts and let's let's shift and do something different. You know? Let's 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 make some change. And doing something different, we're going to see different results. Okay? Now, with that being said, the card that um I had in the last reading that I did is admit your vulnerabilities. And it's in reverse and it was in reverse before. Very interesting how how this happens. So, admitting our vulnerabilities. This is really, you know, saying, "Hey, um let's let's get real let's get honest with ourselves this week okay and i really want to correlate this um admit your vulnerabilities with re-evaluating your priorities okay this is i'm going to put these uprights so you could actually see them so this is really saying listen um we really need to get honest. We really need to look at ourselves. What are our priorities? Are our priorities out of line? Are they out of order? Are we focusing on one thing when we really should be focusing on something else? Where is your um, life taking you? You know, do something different. Let's stop doing the same thing. And so really, maybe we really need to test something out this week. You know, try a different routine, you know, and so the other information, ooh, this is beautiful. So the other information that I have here with the admit your vulnerabilities and the do something different is change tracks, okay? But this is in reverse, okay? So this says to me, this, this is saying to me that I feel like this could be internal change for some of us, okay? And this could also be, hey, what track are you on? What's working? Don't change what's working. Change what's not working, which means there's things that are working. So it's not like this is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay. Some of us, if this was upright, this would be like, yo, we need to shift and change everything. And we really need to shift and move and like get on a whole different train. Okay. Um, because where we're headed is, is not, is not a good situation or it's like, we're sort of like, you know, the resistance is not working. No, this, this is, this is in reverse. So this is sort of saying like, Hey, we, we need to check internally. Are we internally thinking and feeling? Are we on the right track? Maybe it's our thoughts that are, um, the track that we need to shift. You know, we're headed in the right direction. We're doing things. We're making motion and progress. But it's like we need to shift somewhere or something or our diet or our, the, you know, our, our sleep schedule or, you know, um, just certain different things that we need to make subtle sort of sort of movements and shifts. And that's where it's like, hey, let's reevaluate what's working, what's not working. Let's get real. Let's get honest. Let's accept what's not working. Let's accept what we need to let go of. Let's accept where change needs to be had. 
and uh, let's be open to this these changes because it's all about love. You know, loving yourself, making your life better for you and also those that are around you. You know, I will tell you, I am I'm gonna change these words, but this is coming to me is like being a morning person. You know, and I will tell you why I have a challenge is because I worked in the medical field for nine years and getting up at 5 a.m. to be or even 4.30 in the morning to be at the hospital by 7 a.m., you know, it, you know, with an hour and a half drive and this, that and the other. I mean, you know, it was ridiculous, you know, so it's like working all those different shifts. I worked morning shift, middle shift, p.m. shift, midnight shift. Listen, I did all the shifts back in the day. OK, so. To me, this is really saying I have this attachment with getting up early. It just it puts me back in that negative mind space about I have to get up early, you know, because of work. Well, now, you know, things in my life are, are different. They've shifted. They've changed. So, you know, I need to have the mindset of I need to allow myself to say, no, you know what? You know, it's your choice to get up early in the morning. You don't have to get up early in the morning, but you could choose to get up at 5 a.m. You could choose to get up at 7 a.m., you know, um, versus 8.30 or 9 or 9.30 and have a little bit more of your morning, you know? You know, and I could choose to not stay up till 1 a.m., you know, working, you know? And so this is really saying like, you know, let's get real, let's get vulnerable, Let's be true to ourselves, true to our path, true in all areas, you know, because if you can't be honest with yourself, you can't be honest with anybody else. And this is really saying, OK, you know, what is it that you're really trying to um, complete or, or, or where are you headed? You know, yes, it, it's not always all goal oriented. It is about the journey. But, you know, we also need to we need to have some sort of plan. And I know it's all divine timing and things like that as well. But this is really saying, I just, I feel like we need to shift, shift certain things, shift certain um, positions and, and keep what's working and what's not working. We need, we need to say, okay, I accept that I, you know, don't, that I can't eat meat anymore, or I accept that, you know, pasta doesn't agree with me anymore, or, you know, whatever this is. Okay, accept that you need to make change. Accept what is no longer working, you know? And this is beautiful because really, you know, there, the, the universe is really just asking us to be open, to be grateful, accept what's changing, do something different, allow ourselves to shift and change, be honest and real with ourselves, reevaluate what's working, what's not working, and let's shift. Let's make the shift. Let's make the change. Let's get on the red line versus being on the, on the green line. And, um, you know, let's, let's go, man. Let's do it. Okay. So do something different this week and, uh, be open and be, you know, observant to, be mindful, be mindful of keeping open and, and how you're feeling and be conscious and, you know, just stay true to yourselves, be honest to yourselves and, um, let's, let's shift and shake up, you know, little things that aren't working because, you know, small steps always equal to huge progress. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading and then to do this work. So much love and light to all of you as always. Namaste. Bye for now.